The state, the U.S. Department of Education is one of those areas that states would be better off handling. <laughs> would come in. We had a two-thirds rule in our Constitution that the people passed not once but twice, saying that it would take a two-thirds vote of both houses of the legislature to pass a tax increase. We had 15 strong assemblymen, that's our lower house of representatives, of which I was the whip. And I began to do what you do as a whip, and that was to say to these guys, we need to hold strong against this tax increase. We cannot stand to have a big tax increase like this. Uh, it will not help our economy. In fact, it will hurt it. And so I, I did. I did my job. I whipped these, these guys, and we, uh, we stood through one special session and two, I mean, one regular special and spe session and two special sessions against this gross receipts tax is what it was going to be. Uh, during that time, the governor sued the legislature to make us raise taxes by a simple majority, and the Supreme Court went along with it. At, at my own expense, I hired a fellow out of Claremont Institute, Dr. John Eastman, to take this case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court to fight for our Constitution. And even though we didn't get all the way to the use, we did get a hearing in the U.S. Supreme Court. We got all the way there, but what happened was one of our guys got pulled off, and they passed a, a tax increase by, a, by uh, getting that two-thirds vote.